What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we will be taking a look at Tower Wars. This is an RTS tower defense game that was developed and published by Supervillain Studios. Starting off this video, let's take a look at the available gameplay modes, beginning with the classic tower defense. This is where you play against a computer, sends waves of enemies at you, and you have to set up towers to defend your castle. Very basic, basic tower defense stuff. Uh, then there is the Tower Wars gameplay mode, and this is where the game adds those RTS elements. Uh, so basically what's going to happen is you're playing against up to three opponents, and I can show you really quickly here. You can see uh, 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3. You're playing up to against three opponents, and on top of defending against waves of enemies, you are also sending out waves of enemies. At the same time, you have to maintain an economy, you have to train, upgrade, and build your units, and you decide what units go out and when they go out based on how you're maintaining your economy, how you're spending your resources. It's a pretty interesting twist on tower defense gameplay, and it really is a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and set up a match here. I want to do a 1v1. I don't really want to do a 2v2, just because I think 1v1 is a lot more interesting. There are three maps currently available. Uh, hopefully this is something that they add on to in the future. Three is fine for now, but you know more variety is always better in my opinion. Uh, and adding more would be great. But they've got the uh, Battle battle Bluffs, Dust Till Death, and the Warsicle. I don't really care which one we go though, so we'll select random and let's get a match going, shall we? All right guys, we have found an opponent and are now starting the game, so let's just go ahead and jump right into Tower Wars. All right, so here's the general layout of the land. This is my opponent's castle, that's their barracks. Units come out of their barracks, go along this path here, which can be altered depending on the placement of my towers, and he tries to destroy my castle. I have got a barracks, I send out units as well. Now look at this, he's already set up a bunch of towers. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna play this a little bit differently. I am just going to go with placing down two towers to start and then use the rest of my resources, which is the gold here that's slowly accumulated through these mines, to send out a larger number of units. So we're going to queue up these basic runs here. And we're going to send them out as soon as the, the launch timer. So you can only send out when that launch timer is at zero. So you're going to notice here I set out X amount. Um, he has sent out just four units. Now my two towers aren't going to be enough to destroy him, but as I accumulate gold here from my mines, I'm going to have more with which to drop some more towers. So that's what we're going to do here. And I should have enough. Now the goal here for me in the early game is to get as many units to gather as much of my battle points as possible. Now battle points are gathered when you have units on the battlefield, when you've got units moving through enemy lines, basically. I think as soon as they cross this threshold here, you start getting battle points. Those battle points are used to purchase more workers, which gives you a stronger income. Oh, he's got more guys coming out. I should have enough. And they're also used to purchase units and upgrades. So what I wanted to do early on is get my strong economy rolling. I want to best him in economy because as as you all know, in RTS games, economy kind of is king uh, when it comes to doing well in the game. Now that I've used up all my battle points, the next the next step is to try to get another wave of units out or to upgrade or place more towers down. I think I'm going to go for another wave of uh, 225 here. So once we get up to 225 gold, you can see that gold slowly accumulating. I'm going to launch out that wave again. And I am just hitting one for the grunts. Uh, I'll spend some time to show you those units too, especially here in the early game. All right, so let's go ahead and set out those grunts. There they go. All right, so there's a basic grunt there. You can see health, armor, shield, damage. He's got no shield. And there's the cost there as well. This guy right here, uh, the knights, he's a little bit stronger. No special abilities though. And then you start moving into people who do have special abilities. But I got to focus right now on... I want to get these guys, get my extra miners up as quickly as possible. As soon as I accumulate those extra battle points, you can see buy miner, 25 gold, 15 battle points. I want to, uh, yeah, so that's that right there. All right, he's got some more coming out. Still not enough to break my front lines, so looking uh, pretty good early on. And you're also going to notice he is not doing a lot of purchasing of miners there. You can see one of six in those, only two of six in that. I've got six of six here and four of six here. Uh, it's given me a pretty distinct economic advantage early on 
And um, I'm just not, he might, I mean, this game is brand new, literally just came out, so I don't expect many people to be, to be experts here, <laughs> you know. Alright, so we've got our, our basic turret here, the uh, arrow fire, light projectile. We're going to move up to get start getting some of these turrets here, a little bit stronger. He's only sending out two guys against me? Yeah, this is good. So again, as we work up our battle points, gonna purchase more and more miners here. There we go. Now I've got six of six miners in each of these mines. Uh, now these mines can be upgraded three times, and with that you can purchase new miners each time. His economy is still crap. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be a good game for me, that's for sure. All right, so what I'm gonna do in my next wave that I'll be sending through in just a moment Keep an eye on what he's doing. In my next wave, I'm going to try to send out a max wave here. So I'm going to max up my grunts. I'm going to have to wait until I get to 450 resources, 450 gold to send this out. But once that large wave goes through, I think they'll probably bypass his frontal turret defense here. And I'll start to accumulate a lot of battle points. And I'm going to use that to start upgrading my units and uh, purchasing new units. Alright, so we're there. Send out that wave. I'm going to get my battle points up. Now... So you've seen the mining, you've seen how I purchase uh, purchase miners and get income flowing. And my income is definitely much stronger than his now based on just looking at the miners that he has, which is very few. This guy clearly doesn't understand the game. <laughs> it's okay, whatever. Again, if people are new. Um, oop, but now he's got a wave coming through, so I'm going to actually, uh, before we start spending my battle points here, got to do a little bit of this action. There we go. All right, so, all right, now, notice I got a lot of guys through, got a lot of battle points. We're gonna hit you to get to unit training. Now I can upgrade my Mr. Moppy, which is my basic grunt, or I can purchase the next two, which is either the Knight or my Zoom Bot. I'm gonna go for the Zoom Bot here, and I'm gonna actually also then go to B for unit upgrades for the barracks and increase the speed of my units here. All right, so next we're gonna send out a full wave of zoom bots. This is my new unit that I just purchased. Onward to victory, Watch these guys here. Or as close as you can get, right? Full wave of zoom bots, and let me see if there's any other. Can't get this yet. I'm gonna try to get these upgrades here for those zoom bots while they're going through, while I collect battle points. So there we go. And look at that, they make it all the way through his line there, those zoom bots so fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh Get them some more, oh, I hit chat there. Go ahead and get them some more speed upgrades. Basic unit, speed increase. Really hard to show you everything when I'm in the middle of a match, especially since I should be focusing on the match there. And we're gonna be sending out another wave of zoom bots. I'm gonna load up that queue there as soon as this goes to zero. I'm gonna send out another wave of zoom bots here. And uh, you can see all the battle points that I'm accumulating because I broke through his lines. The longer they're there, the more battle points I get. Or as close as you can get, right? Upgrade the zoom bot as far as he goes. He is maxed. And then we'll go to the barracks and get uh, some health upgrades. Oh, yes. Very good. Very good. Look at those guys zooming about. Zoom botting their way through to victory. He continues to have a pretty poor economy. He's got 6 of 6 there. Now 3 of 6 and 1 of 6. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this mine right here. And I'm going to start purchasing miners for that one as well. These cost a little bit more, 100 gold, 45 battle points. But since I've got that economic advantage as is, I can afford to do this. I'm going to fill this thing up. Guy's still uh, doing some damage to his castle now. Looking good, looking good. He's got a measly, measly, uh, measly group coming through. My towers, even unupgraded, are doing fine. And I'll start upgrading those. Let me get this full first. Okay, so. So I've, I place down my towers, and how you do that is you click on one of these hexes, and then you scroll around in terms of what type that you want. And it progressively costs more and more. The, these towers towards the end are the most expensive ones. Um, to upgrade a tower, you just click on it, and there's an upgrade that it's by default focused on. So you can just click on something and let go, and it's going to upgrade it right away. So I got some upgrades here for these towers. 
And uh, I've got a ton more battle points to spend, so we're going to do some more upgrades here. Um, so this is the unit selection. Let me show you some more units here. We're going to go with... Um, Let's go ahead and get that upgrade. Show you some more units. Let's go with uh, one upgrade for the knight. And then we're going to go with... Oh gosh, we can't afford them yet? Yeah, we can't. Alright. Well, let me send some more zoom bots through so we can get some more battle points to get some more units. And the next wave I'm going to send things other than these zoom bots. This, I could probably just win by spamming zoom bots to his castle but I want to do something different just to show you what else is available. So you can see my zoom bots go through. They've got crazy speed right now. He's got the slow tower right there, which is the giant fan, but uh, still not enough to stop them. And they're going to continue to go through. And look at all those battle points I'm accumulating now. And then with that, we're going to go ahead and hit those units. We're going to get Baron Von Bard, as well as him. And this bottle's heavy. That guy. Okay. Wait, we couldn't get him. Oh, I see. I'll keep him safe. All right. So we've unlocked those units, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get them next. Even though I could, again, just I could probably just shoot for the victory with zoom bots, and I would have it. But I don't necessarily want to do that. We got that mine upgraded to two. We could probably get these mines upgraded, but let me send out some new units next. So, the other units that I purchased, I purchased the knight just a little bit stronger than Mr. Mopsy. Then I get the zoom bot, you know about that. Uh, this person right here boosts shields of units within the radius. In addition, uh, boosts shields within units at radius of 30 by 40 every two seconds. And then I've got the bard right here, which increases movement speed and the DPS of nearby units, plus some healer right here. And then let's go ahead and get a knight and a grunt, and let's send out that wave. So this is going to be a slower wave, but I've got some utility. I've got some utility units in this one, so it should be pretty interesting to see. There's a healer. Got some increased speed. Got some shields bouncing back and forth. You can see that right there. He's not sending anything. So look at that. Got some interesting utility there. Gonna go to the barracks, uh, do some more upgrades here. I wanna actually go this way, because what I want to get is right here. Increases the max number of Q slots. That's what I want. So my max number of Q slots, you notice how it was locked, I got that increase there, so I can send out more now. And we're gonna go ahead and let's do another wave. Let's send out a bunch of knights, a couple of grunts there. We'll send out two of him, and a he- oh, can't send out that. Let's just do, uh, we lost the healer. Let's, let's do that again. Do one healer, two of him, some knights, and some grunts. And let's send out that one. And then we're also going to start to upgrade these a little bit more. Let me get a, a slow one here. And actually, he might get some stuff through here. I'm a little worried about that, so let's... um. Do what we can to stop that there. Go this way. Spending a bunch of resources just to try to prevent him from getting through. Pretty much the last thing I want. There we go. And there you go. You notice I'm still getting some guys moving. Although they're still not making it all the way through like the zoom bots clearly were doing. Uh, but I'm more interested, rather than just winning this quickly, I'm more interested in showing you stuff in the game. I think that that's a better idea. Uh, let me, over here, with that in mind, wanting to show you guys some stuff. Um, let me place... shucks. I would have to reroute it over here. So we're going to... I think we're going to... Yeah, block off this path here. Block off that path, force him over here, and then over here I'm actually going to pick up a one of these bad boys. This is uh, put the lava all the way around it. It's absolutely hilarious. But let me focus on my economy again because that is of the utmost importance. More important than pretty much everything. He's still, yeah, he hasn't upgraded any of his towers. He has 6-6 six, six on the basic towers, but still hasn't upgraded any of his towers. Move them out, troops! 
Oh my gosh, I just sent out nothing. That that was a huge waste. <laughs> All right, let's uh, <laughs> it's really funny. Get this last one right here. Okay, and then we're going to send out. Let's. I'm gonna send out a bunch of zoom bots again. Once that timer finishes there. He's got some guys coming. Doesn't look to be much though. Zoom bots. I need 590. Almost there. Almost got enough gold. There it is. Zoom bots go. And uh, get some upgrades for him here. Upgrade their armor. Use a bunch of my battle points to upgrade those zoom bots, making them stronger. In a few of the games that I have played um, against people who were, you know, clearly pretty aware of what they were doing. Uh, zoom bots were king. They just people were just spamming those pretty much non-stop to the castles. The reason I did it this time though is I wanted to accumulate a bunch of battle points because I want to be able to keep this going here. So let's get this upgraded here to two as well. Just like in StarCraft, man, if you're beating your opponent's economy, you have got there's a pretty strong chance you're gonna win. And by pretty strong, I mean almost guaranteed. The exception, of course, is that if I dump a bunch of resources in my economy and he gets stuff through and I don't have enough to afford towers, well then all of a sudden I'm kind of screwed, right? So, all right, let's get some more uh, some more units here. Continue to move down the path. That guy cost way too much. I just unlocked Stanley Clunker Bottom. Giant, this guy's huge, oh my gosh. Gonna throw a couple of those down. Uh, let's get let's let's get three of those and let's get him some support yeah and then a knight right there all right this will be funny I wonder how this will do cost a ton though 1300 gold so gonna have to wait a moment until we can do that still hasn't upgraded any of his mines almost got enough to send out this large wave and uh, my defenses are okay here, here we go. I, I get. I gotta take a look at this. Let's see this one, huh? Pretty large group here. Oh, and you know what? I should have peppered the healers and stuff in between. I'm silly. So yeah, you sent. You queue up the order in which they move out as well. I should have put the heal. I should have put the healer like second or even in back. So that went because when he dies, he drops that bottle and it he heals in an area of effect, is what happens there. Let's get some upgrades here for our units. Some armor upgrades. There we go. And I'm going to send out another upgrade we can get. It's reducing the time. Yeah, it reduces the launch cooldown time. So upgrade that. Let's send out another wave of zoom bots. Go! Onward to victory. Onward to victory. Get, right? There go those zoom bots. Crazy, crazy zoom bots. Crazy OP zoom bots. <laughs> he still hasn't. Been, he's not sending stuff out. What the heck is he doing? I'm, that's why I'm not upgrading my towers. He hasn't been sending anything out. I do not know what he's doing. Look at that, the healer died right here. Oh, making those guys very strong. And actually my zoom bots are gonna make it through. Let's go with another wave of zoom bots. Oh god, that might that might win the game right here though. Okay, he is not he's sending nothing out. <laughs> he is sending nothing out. I don't know what he's doing. But that's fine. Another wave of zoom bots. Got a huge economy right now. I'm gonna start. Upgrading these towers for when he does eventually decide to send stuff out. Every uh, every tower can be upgraded three times. And we've got a ton of battle points. So let's dump that here on some upgrades. Health boost, more armor there. Oh gosh. Zoombot's making it all the way through. All right, let's keep that econ strength going. Upgrade this mine to level three. I think all of these are upgraded to the third level here. No, no, not these ones. Let's get some uh, some bombers up here. Yeah, that spent all my resources there. And all right, his castle's still burning. 
He's still not sending anything out. Is he doing anything here? Yeah, so he is here. He's present. But he's just not he's just not sending out waves of enemies. It's strange. Very strange. Alright, buy some miners. Look at how expensive these uh, rank 4 miners are. 400 gold, 135 battle points. That's a lot. Speaking of battle points, that guy costs way too much. That's the transport. I mean, he's setting up his defenses pretty well here, that's for sure, but... He's also just not not sending anything against me, so... Let, uh, let me um get the max number of Q slots up there. That's not all the way yet, but a little bit more. For the king! That's me! Go Zumbots! So you can tell that, um, you know, it seems like this is something that eventually there's going to be a lot of depth behind this game and a lot of strategy. Obviously early on, I mean, obviously I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doing whatever, and this is clearly not, like, good gameplay. I just happen to be playing against someone who's worse, <laughs> so, so it works out in my favor, but... You know, I can see there being a lot of strategy behind, like, build orders and what turrets you get when, how you spend your resources, what upgrades, you know? He's got he's got a very strong defense here on the back, on the back nine. <laughs> We're not golfing force, All right? A few more of those. There we go. Now that is all the way up to six to six. How is his income doing? He's got this one tower, or this one mine upgraded to level two. Those still are back at one, level one though. And we're gonna get this up here. Max Q slots available now, so I can queue up a ton. And let's uh, let's send out another large group here. We're gonna start off with Clunker Bottom in front. Uh, follow him up with a healer in one of those. Another Clunker Bottom healer, one of those, and another Clunker Bottom leading up the rear with uh, Mr. Mopsy at the back. 1549. Very expensive wave that's coming through. Finally, he sent something else through. Gosh, clearly didn't do much though. All right, this is good. I think this might be a good one here. I got some large guys in this. I got some some support, some shielding, some healers, two healers at least. Is there a third now? Just two healers. People are sitting with their great shields here. Let's see how far this group makes it. Get them some upgrades in the meantime. Shield up, uh, armor upgrade there. I don't think anyone's died yet with their shields and stuff. He's got a pretty pretty strong group coming through. Let's get this upgraded here. And he's gonna get some guys through this time, I think. Alright, he's got still gotta go over here though. Yeah, this should be all set here. You can hold down shift to just rebuild the tower that you've just placed down. That's a thing. It's a thing you can do. Send down a slow tower right there. And uh, I guess I could force him in this direction, huh? That'd be pretty good. I got guys that made it all the way through. Hmm, yeah. This guy's made it. And he's gonna get a healer too, well, as soon as this thing dies. As long as it gets targeted. Which I don't know that it is. There it is, there's the heal. Gonna send some zoom bots through. And with this heal, this guy might, this guy's gonna last a little bit longer. He's got some stuff coming through here. I uh, don't think I'm too worried, but let's upgrade these towers in case here. And upgrade these as well. Yeah. Got that no problem. Nice slow right there. Still haven't gotten to see this in use. I guess it, uh, it's going to start right now, though. That upgraded. And there you go. So this one dumps lava down. It's a riot. It's hilarious. I've got like a billion battle points right now. And this is probably going to be the win though. My heal is still got a bit of time. You can see the progress bar on that. Um, so let me show you these towers real quick here while... While this victory is happening. And uh, we might not even have full time to show you all the towers, but... We've got a basic artillery, we've got uh, some cannon one. This one is good against armor. You can notice right here, and um, right beneath the damage range speed, it tells what they're good against. Let's see, am I gonna win this here? Okay, good. 
I'm actually happy that that um, didn't win right there. I want to show you guys the rest of this stuff here. That one bolsters my towers. So we're going to put some stuff around it. Upgrade these here. And that thing should be dead right there. There we go. All right, so I want to show you all the towers really quickly. All right, so there's the uh, basic tower. It's cheap, it's fast, you know that. This one's good against armor. Uh, while we're waiting, let's send out a wave of speedies there. Um, this one right here, it's an instant shock tower that chains to two other units. It's effective against shields. This is a very long range splash damage. It's weak burst shields though. This one right here, that's the slow. Boost allies towards within range. Uh, boost ally towers within range by 10% and 5 does not boost. Oh, that's the booster. I'm sorry. This is the slower right here. Slows enemy units down by 30%. Can be upgraded, of course. All of these towers can. Here's the big one that does uh, lava damage all around. That's the one I placed at the bottom of the map back there. And then this, the diminisher. This is actually really fun. I get a couple of those down. This drops, drops the hammer, literally. So this is a giant hammer. <laughs> it's hilarious. And there we go. We got the victory. Looks like my speeders made it all the way through. So there you go, guys. Uh, that game obviously worked very much so in my favor. My opponent really wasn't the greatest, but, you know, whatever. A little bit of a breakdown here. Let's take a look at this. Shows the towers used. And it goes per team. Now, I'm that was just a 1v1. There could be two other people there. And then it shows the total. Also going to show the units. How many of each units. Zoom bots, I was all over. He finally got the idea. Uh, but it was a bit too late in the game. And then check out the income. And this is where... This is the huge discrepancy here. Look at that income. Gold and battle points. A big difference between us and... That's pretty much what won the game and made it as easy as it was for me to just kind of lay back and not really have to pay too much attention. All right, so I do uh, I do think I want to show you a little bit more gameplay, though. So why don't we go ahead and hop into another game? I'm not going to do the classic tower defense just because it's, it's super basic. You're just placing down towers and stopping incoming waves without having to do the income and stuff. It's, it's really not the same. So uh, this time, let's just hop into a quick play match and see what happens. All right, here we go. Looks like we have found a 3v3 this time by hopping into quick match. This should definitely be pretty interesting. Unfortunately, we are going to have to wait for the red team as they are still connecting right here. Now, how this is going to work uh, based on what I've seen so far is anyone on the team can place down towers. We all have our own income. However, um, other people can put miners in the mine so I, I don't know if it's split up or if everyone just gets the same amount of income or I'm not sure exactly how that works uh, but I know that our units are upgraded individually uh, so if someone else upgrades their units I don't necessarily get them and same with the towers like I can't upgrade someone else's towers so so I've got two allies here uh, let's see what they decide to do for tower work early on frankly I would like to put down no towers myself just send units and accumulate battle points. I just got to see what both sides are doing here. Are they not putting down any towers either? Hmm. Well, if they're going to send out guys and not put down towers. Okay, so my allies put down a tower. They put down some towers all the way back there. I'm going to use up all my resources to send guys through. My reasoning behind this is I want to accumulate as many battle points as possible. See how they like this. So that I can get the gold flowing, you know? And, uh... <laughs> God. <laughs> the opposing team hasn't sent out any units yet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that's embarrassing. So they're putting down some towers... But they're not sending out any units. Eee, yeah, about that. All right, let's get that huge income advantage nice and early on, huh? You can see other people were purchasing there as well. So they're using their own income to increase the income of everybody, which is what I'm doing here as well. And we've got a ton of guys going through. This is, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Um, so we're just going to look at that. It's now six to six. I put down two there. Uh, we're just going to get a huge income lead here early on. 
Oh boy. Oh gosh. All right, so they finally got some guys going, but now that we've got this um, this strong income here, I'm gonna put down that one. Now that we've got this strong income, we we have got a a huge lead. I mean, and we're even getting guys all the way to their castle now. So they finally decided to send some stuff through, but uh, yeah, we have got a humongous lead here. We've got the six of six of all the mines. They are at one of six, one of six, and one of six. So they're not even upgrading their mines right now. Well, guys, looks like this is going to be another win. <laughs> well, oh boy. Gonna go. We're just going to capitalize on this opportunity here and keep this income flowing. Keep it flowing. All right. This is probably going to be a pretty quick win as well. Going to get this tower upgraded as soon as I can afford it. 128. Almost there. There it is. So this tower right here, this is the one that uh, is good against shields and it shocks enemies and shocks groups of enemies. And now let's go ahead and go even more. Do we get a second? No. Oh, got another two. So we get that one up and running. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Also, I don't collect battle points um, when my allies send through guys. It's only when I send through guys. So that's the other thing. The gold is shared. But I don't get shared battle points. Notice I'm not accumulating battle points right now. Those are my allies. Now, as soon as my guys go through, which are right here, then I'm going to start accumulating battle points. Upgrade this tower here. It upgrades pretty fast, so. Plus, we're I mean we're all set here. Look at that shock there, beautiful. So now that now that my grunts are going through, I'm gonna start accumulating battle points and I'm gonna use that to start probably getting these zoom bots, because I think we're probably just gonna zoom bot our way right through here. Um, I think that that's going to be the idea. So let's go to units. Let's purchase Zumba to there. And let's get a full wave once the uh, cooldown here on the launch is finished. Get a full wave of Zumbots going through. Four seconds left. Two, one, go Zumbots. Shab it. Alright. We're, We're all set over here. Let's take a look at the mines here. We got anything else upgraded coming? No, not yet. I'd like to upgrade one more in a second. So far, I've only laid down one tower, but it is maxed upgrade, so it's uh, pretty solid. Look at those guys go. Oh my gosh, look at them go. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so let's get uh, this one upgraded. Let's tell my team. Alright, so the next mine is up, so let's get this filled here. There we go, my team is paying attention, beautiful. And <laughs> the opposing team left the game because they realized that they just got rocked so early on. Two opponents have left, there's still one guy left. That's, uh, I don't know if that's my teammate 3D glasses or if that's the opposing team saying GG. I can't tell. Whatever. There it is. <laughs> Pretty easy. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video here. Uh, as you can see early on, still there's a lot of people who don't really understand um, the game, and that that income is absolutely huge. So if you play this game, realize how important income is. Let's look at this. Oh, my God. That is just unbelievable. 11,000 total gold as opposed to... Okay, so I think the discrepancy in the gold here is coming from tower kills. You get gold when your towers kill things, and I had the least amount of towers, so I got the least amount of gold. But it's still pretty spread out even. Um, you can see there that it's still pretty much even. Even though I only had one tower, we're still about the same because a majority of our income is coming from those mines. And then you can take a look at the um, also the battle points as well, which I was pretty slim on. I spent most of my money on upgrading the mines, and I upgraded my tower as well. And, yeah, I think that's where everything went. All right, guys, that was a look here at Tower Wars. Game's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, again, a pretty interesting twist on tower defense gameplay. So if you like the video, definitely go check out the game. Uh, it's currently available on Steam. The retail price is $10. However, there's a 10% discount at the moment now, so it's for $8.99. However, who knows how long that's going to last or when you see this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.